Hello everyone, I'm Assorted Bits and welcome to episode 36 of A Skull's Tale, where we play Mountain Blade Warband with the Britain Walba mod. So, it's been a while since the previous recording. Well, not, a, not as long as the break between, uh, I thought it was episode 20 and 21 or so, but... Well, um, apparently I'm still in Wales, where I was gathering minerals and silver let's go to open Gulai or whatever you call it and see if they have stuff available for me by splash from the peasants no they don't bastards return um Ah, so that let's go back to Litchfield, I guess. Oh, I also have to visit the lady, so... Uh, let's go to Lisbon, Pangborn, Litchfield, and Ulster. Here we go. Go to the marketplace. I should get, I should be able to get better prices for the silver, so I'm going to try to sell those in Litchfield. Ding. Anyway, um my apologies for the delay again, but um well I wasn't completely um, doing nothing for the Lords of Greenleaf. I still had the, these episodes with Lord Cucumber on XCOM and uh, the Guild 2. If you haven't uh, checked those out, please do. It's quite fun so far. Um, even though we have a freeing plague ruining my game experience in there. So I'm currently focusing on the survival of my characters in the Guild 2. And this is what I meant with better prices. This is below 200, so uh, 400, so I'm going to sell that one elsewhere. Dill chicken, dried meat. Going to buy some extra food. Green. Hey, wait. Bread. Here we go. Head back, leave. Let's go to Ulster and visit the lady. Gwent and Hitch, uh, Gwent and Huitje, I think Huitje, <laughs> have made peace. Okay, I have no freaking clue where those are. Looks like some Celtic area. I should poke that guy's eye, eye out. He's winking at me all the time, bastard. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. Um, do you think we're... Current relationship, 18 chance of sex. Uh, two thirds. I'll try to fix it. Yes. I could never allow that to happen. Go ask my no relation El Go ask my no relation Yaldor man Bjorthurth. No relation is your dad. That's a weird bug. Oh well. Um But well, let's find Bjorthurth. And hey, maybe we have a marriage episode. Uh, I'm going to in first person mode as well. Zoom in on the non techno non. Well, that joke bit me in the ass. <laughs> um, I got a pop up of one of those special window keys. Well, you are special windows. Then again, it is seven, so it's quite good actually. Anyway, let's find him in order to marry his daughter.
I uh, want the location of someone the author. He should be close to Oxford. Okay. To Oxford it is. Here. Banbury Patrol, Yoa Pibbing. Oh, they're gathering for another invasion or so. Stay here! Got an important question to ask. Um. Okay, suck up to him. Suck up to him, right? No, no, nothing else. Sucking. Um. I wish to ask you something. I wish to marry you, Oscar. Splendid June! Splendid news, my young man. I shall be proud to have you in our family. Now, let's talk the, uh, the terms of the marriage. As per our custom, the two of us must make sure that I has sufficient finances to support herself in the event of any unforeseen circumstances. Okay. A dower of 17,160 shillings. Wow. Okay. Guess it will be a money episode. As in getting lots and lots of money. How much do I have on person? Oh. Oh. It's not that bad, actually. Go to the marketplace, goods merchant, silver. I can probably... Uh, no, the beer is quite expensive at the moment. Um, oh, we have cheese. Doesn't matter. And let's head back. I could plunder the treasure chest of Cambridge. Then again, it is my treasure chest, so... Uh, your region with Benbury has improved. Awesome. Now, what do you guys have? Recruit volunteers? Uh, farmers. Nope. Uh, I'll, I'm periodically checking Benbury to see if... I hear a fight. Masterless man, do a single. Oh crap. Um, mm, screw this caravan. I'm not going to risk it. There's a ship captain, which is an elite uh, de uh, Danish pirate. There are two Danish pirates in between. This is going to be a tough fight. I am not going to risk that for whatever prisoners they have. Even though Sussex is a fellow pagan faction. Um, let's go to the Great Hall. And speak with the Chamberlain. What do you want to do? I want to withdraw 5,000. Never mind. Um, financial. Cambridge. Poor neglected. Neglected? I'm not de neglecting my town. Bastards. Oh, talking about shillings and tariffs. Um, I need to visit the moneylenders in order to collect the rent. Here we go. Only a thousand, but still. Better than nothing. Okay, let's leave. And let's get married. Holster. Ulaid is no more. Okay. Mears, young warriors.
Okay, he flees. Awesome. I'm kind of amazed that my Banbury patrol is still around. Then to visit the lady, visit the light. Oh wait, she's there. She was there. Leave. Go to the Great Hall. No, that's Ava Swip. Oh well, it's her sister. Doesn't matter. Um, very well, so let it be. Ta -ta -ta. Circumstances permit. Okay, awesome. So now we have to visit our fiance and wait for the feast. Okay. I'm not going to do the techno none again and be booted out of the game again. <laughs> Oh well, um, since I, well, did that assault on our uh, treasure chest, I might search for some more silver. Let's see, what do we have? Buy supplies for the peasants, bread and tools. Tools are expensive. Leave next town. Um, buy supplies. Still nothing. I am going to buy the honey, though. Um, well, we're still at war with that faction, as far as I'm aware, so. Recruit volunteers, no, buy supplies, silver, ha, leave, I'm not sure if these, uh, thank to God let him be, offer him a place in your troops, well, you are now a creep, what the? I am now a Christian? What the? Fuck no, I just... Did I have to kill him? Um, buy supplies from the peasants. Silver. Um, buy supplies from the peasants, good, and I'm going straight back to Litchfield and deconvert myself. Okay, next time I suppress that rat. Oh. Apparently, they are rounding up on I guess this, yep, it's on the siege now. Still, I'm going to Litchfield first before I join that war, uh, that siege. Go to the Great Hall. You! I must talk to you urgently. <gasps> Here we go. Um. Teal? Oh, tear. Woden, 
Wodan, Tyr, and uh, Thunor. Um, well, Thursday is named after this god. Oh, Thor! Duh! Um, I want this realm to love and respect me. I give you a thousand. Okay. Actually, cancel that order. I have no need for the god that's time. Okay, bye. I left the city to make money, and now I have to, I have to pay my way back into my faith. What the, the insult! Ooh, cheap beer and mead. Uh, let's see if I have enough food. So, rotten chicken, bread, fruit. Uh, I could use some extra food in order to help in that siege okay let's go back and destroy that faction for once and for all and then I visit the entire surrounding and then I visit all the surrounding villages in order to get more silver or minerals. Um, none here. And I'm not going to buy stone. That's useless. And it doesn't pay well. Um, buy supplies from the peasants. Mineral. Ah, no, it's over 100. That goes against my rules. Leave. Um, I'm going to wait for them to attack that. Well, in the meantime, I am collecting more. Oh, it's not being rated right now, so. Uh, by supply, still st stone again. Ooh, sausages. And cabbage. Leave. Let's go to here. Okay. Ah, this. Isn't that one of the churches that I uh, destroyed earlier in the game? Well. Let's go to the marketplace. Goods merchant. Uh, too expensive. I could sell these over here. So I make a bit of money already. Return. Hey. Oh wait, uh, that was over 100. I'm going to wait for some time. Until the morning. Done. Leave. There's a nasty battle going on over here. Wow, they're ganging up on someone. Ugh. The siege is busy. Process the siege camp, join the next assault. Taking time. I have my trusty axe and skulls to bash in. I'm just going to make sure I'm somewhere. But, oh yeah. These, these guys are my shield. Even though they are not of my own army, I could still use them as a shield. Meat shields matter, really. Ouch. Okay, I'm still alive. Donkey Kong mode. What? 
Then again, maybe I should have brought a mole in order to make John Donkey Kong jokes. I'm going to shoot that fucker. What? Headshot! This is a weird castle. As in, the wall isn't that high and then there is this bulge or hill after it. Oh, you killed that one? Good. Okay, that's the last one. So, now it's just camp, camp there, spawn and... Kill them. My weapon broke? What's this? Javelin. Well, um... Hand axe. Let's use this thing instead. Or do we have any better weapons? Nope, apparently not, so... Hand axe it is. It's like playing chivalry! Including the death, or at least death. Knocked out. I'm going to be really, really disappointed in my faction if we can't win this. Why did my, well, not so trusty axe broke? Why? Let's see if we can make some nice action shots. Whee. Hey, there's a grotto. Probably an underground storage room. The predecessor or predecessor of the refrigerator. Burn them on, uh, burn them. <laughs> Store them on the ground. Well, their waves of reinforcements are considerably faster than ours, as in ours, as in for every wave we send in, they have two or three uh, to do. Ooh, nice. They're too late on the walls, so we can just take the stairs and shoot them, kill them, fight them. Guys, you're being sneak attacked by that guy over there. Hello, behind you. What a mess. Any reinforcements over there? Oh, well, there's a new batch of our men. I think this is the last of them. Or... No, 
their critical mass hasn't been reached to spawn the next batch. Why are there a bunch of farmers at the front? Oh, nope. There is a new batch. Hey, look, there's one smart guy over there. Let's focus on that one. I like smart people. Good boy. Unfortunately, you're not in my army. Why? Guys, there are two other letters over here. Even a fourth. Uh, even a third in this case, but... That one hasn't been put up against the wall yet. You know what? I'm going to retreat from this battle and you probably lose a stem morale. You gain two morale. And we're going to join the next batch. Let's see. We lost overall 100. Just less, uh, just a bit less than that. Let's uh, continue. I'm going to join the next assault. So I hopefully put some sense into these NPCs. Because that fight was going nowhere. That's a hit. That it wasn't. Just an aim. Well, not that way, but here we go. Headshot. That works. There's one over there, but can't really reach it from here. Nope. Hey, now they somehow did manage to find out how multiple letters work. Good. And it can be seen by the results in the lower left corner. That's your kneecap. Ouch. I thought I was going to shoot him sooner than that, but no. I didn't. That was a nice shot though. You really saw that uh, arrow heading towards me to hit me in the shoulder, I guess. No, decapitation, decapitation shot, apparently. I do have the idea my head is a prime victim in this game, since how many times I've seen my unconscious body without a head. It's going to be a slightly longer episode, but hey. After that small break, it's you. You are uh, well. You're you're worth it anyway. So, <laughs> but you deserve it. Guys, guys. Ah. Oh. At least three are paying attention.
good. Let's head this way. Please take multiple letters this time. Why was the smartest amongst them that farmer over there? Hopefully they turn left and grab that bottleneck from the back. No, they don't. At least we're on the walls again. Why didn't we hire that guy? Then again, he's in, well, multiple reasons, like he's an enemy, but oh well. Or at least he's fighting for the enemy. Enemies in wars are just people doing the same thing as you, only at the other side, so... I'm glad the bottleneck is down there at the moment. They do have an awful lot of archers over here. Or, and spears and other ranged troops. I'm not going to um, reset the battle again since it took a blow uh, to my morale. So let's just capture the city and hopefully still marry this episode. Okay, they managed to break the bottleneck somewhat. Guys, there's also stairs over there. Look behind you. I like that archer. He should earn a promotion if he survives. Maybe he shouldn't. Why are you non-armored archer fighting two guys in armor? This is their doom. They make the mistake of trying to engage the others in an open battle. Those cavalry guys are quite good actually. Well, we knew that already, but I mean also quite good on food. Oh, that wasn't uh, cavalry? Hmm, I thought so. 
Hey, this is the last batch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, it's even more over here. <laughs> Six. Seven. Okay. Let's focus on this group and see how they get run down. We captured this town. Mears expanded. Awesome. Your party gains three morale. Pfft. Your casualties, ally casualties. Enemy casualties. They did better than us, to be honest. So, hmm. But we won. Mears have taken uh, York from Brichainiok. Okay. The faction of Brichainiok is no more, I guess. Marketplace. No, not horses, goods. Uh, nope. Tailed pork sausages, honey. Smoked fish and chicken. Here we go. Head back. Leave. Awesome. Now let's talk to the lords around here. to boost my relation with one point per lord. Then again, I could wait for the next party and talk to them. Hopefully that party will be my marriage or Dewar's marriage. This guy is doomed. Ouch. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do now. Here we go. Charge the enemy. Why am I able to attack myself? I mean, why am I able to join the attack now and not in the previous battle? Okay, looking at my health, it's still crap, but... I wonder which auto resolve hates you more. This in this game or the one in the Total War series? Because weird shit, ha shit happens. There they are. 
hopefully the fight will be down there so I have a bit of flat land to hey they retreated looks like it let's see if I'm able to shoot them from the side Well, that's a good start with the first kills on our side. Ah, there they are. Ah, it's quite a good army by the looks of it. Many heavy troops will almost hit one of my own men there. Wow, I downed the horse. You weapon broke. I am going to fire my blacksmith. Or whoever makes spears. Getting out of here. Where's my zero damage? I shot that guy over there in white in the back. Ouch! You hit a friendly troop. Sorry. Even one of my own men. <clears throat> Ouch! Damn, that one was timed well. I will recover completely. Awesome, but... Wow! Before I could react or so... I had a... Sword in my face. Nice. My archers are thinking. Or slightly less moronic. I go for the ladder.
definitely the latter. <laughs> This is going to be a slaughter. Hopefully that spy has some tricks up his sleeve. Actually, ah, too bad. <laughs> wow, <laughs> nice. And we've got them. This was quite a tough fight, but it went quite well. I still see the image of that Marchok slashing my head off. Oh well, in front of me. Nice, continue. Oh, this was just the first part. Continue. Continue. Awesome. Hey, wow, 15 points. Ooh. And this is quite a nice selection to choose from. Then again, I did lose a lot of people in the these past two battle uh three battles. But hey, this makes it a little bit worthwhile. And it saves me uh, some cash on uh, wages. Um, infantry, infantry. I want to split those guys up. He's going to be an equite or a queed. Um, yeah, I can't talk to you now, so. War trophy, war trophy, metal trophy. What the heck? Tattered blue pants. Including tattoos, apparently. Yup. Haha! <laughs> and here we go. Oh, uh, it's still this guy. Huh. Oh well. Um, I must make my leave, but this faction is no more. Which is awesome. Do we have any wars left? Uh, waiting for some time. Carlegionis. Awesome. Where is Carlegionis? Here. Do we have our marriage? I'm not involved with that fight. Okay, I'm going to set up camp here and hopefully some people arrive.
Doesn't look like it. Meerstan, East Saxony. Oh well, Essex. Okay, he's going. But apparently he's the only one going since I haven't seen anyone else. Ooh. And she wants to speak to me. Hey, wait. Wasn't she the one saying that we shouldn't speak uh, in a, before our marriage? Hello. Then why did you invite me? Okay, nice to see that she wants to, wanted to see me, but... Awesome. Okay. Wow, that would be... Uh harsh to reclaim the dower leave what time is it early morning he's going nowhere hey wow canterbury is uh canterbury cambridge is doing well And I think I can increase the wages for uh, the rents for, oh no, the rents for Benbury, not the taxes. Or, although, hmm, should be able to do so. Let's go to Benbury. That guy has a lot in his dungeon, by the way. Um, recruit volunteers. Thanks for your patience and love, guys, but 80 farmers. I'm not going to engage those Danish raiders since that will be a frigging mess. Um, go to Meat Hall. Do we have a ranch broker around here? Melici. Uh, Melite Militia um, Let us inspect the treasury Here we go Nothing I wanted to check the documents I Go to the marketplace Goods And let's sell the crap I got from that battle Rotten pork. I'm going to get rid of the chicken as well since it's about to rot. And we're done, I think. Now I'm going to war. I'm going to wait for the marriage since I want to conclude this episode with um, the marriage. So. I'm going to wait here and I'll skip the right to the marriage. I lied apparently since I didn't expect this. You summon two men to decide a dispute between two men. One is a lord while the other is a man sworn to the lord. It seems what happened is that the lord didn't have enough tribute to pay his man, so the oath man took his lord's took his lord's daughter to his own bed and had his way with her. The options I am able to choose from is punish the oath man, he has violated the lord's honor, punish the lord, he has filled in his duty as lord, 
the really small text is asked to see the daughter and when she's brought for you decided it was punishment enough that the oath man had to sleep with her <laughs> subtle hire the oath man for your own warband and compensate the lord yourself for this crime and pay the oath man for the lord's de dereliction of duties i'll go with the last one that looks like the best one and now we wait again Okay, in the meantime, uh, the king took Set, which was the village which was um, chosen to be, or which was the village who was to, about to be given away, but he didn't, he took it himself. A single rider, looking poor and unarmed, approaches your party. Intercepted by your man, he presents himself as a troubadour from Benbury. And request your permission to compose an ode about your magnificency, magnificency and generosity. Your men exchange glances and then look at you waiting for an answer. You grant such permission to the troubadour and cover the man with gold. Which is 300 shillings. Grant permission and hand the purse with 100 shillings to the man. Allow the troubadour to compose the ode but offer him no payment. Order your man to take the beggar out of your way. You don't have enough gold, how embarrassing, you lose to renown. Uh, awesome. Uh, not this, but I got a message that the guild hall in Cambridge is finished. So I'm going to talk with my chancellor and Let's see, I'm going to withdraw some money out of the treasury anyway. And let's see, uh, Benbury Low, yes. Um, I'd like to manage in thief improvements. I want to build an improvement in Cambridge. I'm going to buy a library since the guild house was just finished. Hopefully this boosts the um, wealth of No. Let's inspect the treasury. I'm going to pay uh, 1000 back. I should really, really re, um, regain wealth. Thief improvement, bill improvement, Cambridge. Why am I not able to build the... Nothing, I want to check the documents. Let's get out and try to reload it if, if that fixes the bug. Struggling. At least it's not poor and neglected anymore. Unremarkable, fiercely devoted, tax riches. Low, never mind. Thief improvements. Why can't I build the library anymore? I find the library much more important than a frigging prisoner tower. Um. Let's go to the meat hall. Farmer, mystic merchant, no ransom broker. I'm going to get rid of my prisoners, by the way. I'm not too happy about waiting for... Ooh, that's a nice pun with uh, Bloody Mary, but... Unfortunately, my fiance is named Eight or Eite. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk with her. Skills, 12, 12, let's boost her agility a bit and, or agility. What is it, agility or agility? Feel free to post it in the comments. Uh, power throw, no, reset changes. Agility, power strike. No. 
I'm a bit um, indecisive, I must say. Done. Never mind. Talk. Skills. Intelligence 12, and we can give him an extra point in surgery and in training. Awesome. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Then, how is it with food? Actually, uh, not that great. I really, really have to do some trading, I guess, or looting. Are we in a war? Ports. Um, let's see our faction relations report. <laughs> this is a much smaller list right now. Much smaller. Um, Mears. We're at war with Gautodin. Oh, that's that village, uh, that's that faction somewhere over here. It was somewhere up here north and quite insignificant. Oh, Edinburgh. Aha. Um, they have a church over there. Hmm. Um, oh, let's move to here. Mears going to war with Gwynedd. I could explore exploit that situation and try to start a war but that's nothing here we go fist bump of course my presence is Requested immediately since I am the frigging groom. Here we go. Let's marry. Join the feast and here we go. First of all, where the heck? Oh, there he is. Nice. Oh, not a movie this time, or? Um, didn't he just declare us man and wife? Why are we doing it again? Oh well. Oh, that's the king. Awesome. Where's my character? I was missing someone. <laughs> And that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching.